great. I would have to pick a day and time when they're doing something at the hospital. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here in sunny California, IA. I hope you're having a good one. See our beautiful little hospital here, clinic. They know me well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, oh, you can't see it from here, but way over there is Wally World. And as you can see, this is the country country. You see way over there? All that is nothing but, I don't know, probably about a hundred acres. Just growth. This is good. We need growth. <laughs> we need that thing, you know? So, I just, uh, am venting. <laughs> yeah, I'm venting today. And this is for you that I told you yesterday, I'll just make another video. So, the difference, there's a difference between friends that we think is going to stay in our life for a long time and we'll live happily ever after together and clients who are just here for a short term, you know, the season, the reason, the time thing. Yes, that season, yeah, I just call them the clients. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Because, I mean, I'm just here to learn from them, or they're here to learn from me, and we keep it pushing, right? Or, let's see, friends, clients, or teachers. And generally, to me, teachers usually stay around for a little bit, sometimes, a little bit longer than a season, you know? So, yeah. Dealing with uh, an associate, we'll, we'll just we'll just call him a teacher, you know. Uh, and people like it because I'm sure it happens to men too that you know some women only want one thing from them, be it money or sex or drugs or to be arm candy or whatever. I don't know, <clears throat> but you guys got to turn around because. My arm is sore already. I don't know how you guys make these videos and just hold your hold it with your hand the whole time. Anyway, uh, because uh, I was supposed I had an agreement with somebody, and because I can't keep the whole portion of my agreement, then they're like, okay, yeah, well, whatever, we'll get together next week. And I'm like, damn, you can't even come have lunch with a girl, really? Well, I mean, so what? Because I really, I really like the company of this person. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, damn, Mike is willing to drive all the way out to Gilroy to take me to lunch. You know? And silly of me to think that you like me like that after, what, 15 years of association. Because at this point, you can't even really call that a friendship. Because, you know, if you were a friend, you would have just drove out to see my ass took me to lunch. You know, I mean, if you couldn't stay for three hours and, you know, have a nice long chat, which we only do maybe once or twice, maybe every six months, maybe, you know, so it's not like we talk to each other every single day and have stuff to catch up on, but anyway, um, we just keep it pushing. So to you, my dear, I want to say that, you know, a lot of people that we think are our friends are not our friends, they're just clients. And I understand it's challenging for a lot of you people that do use your gifts to look at it that way. But really, really, come on now, get real with yourself. That's what they are. They come to you for a reading. They come to you for a healing. They come to you for advice. They come to you for whatever they come to you for. <clears throat> and then poof, they're gone. Like a client. You know, and, and for probably the first 28, 30 years of my life, I kept wondering why I didn't have any friends. They weren't friends. They were clients <laughs> or students. And that's it. I'm here to learn something from you, and you're gone. I'm here to teach you something, and you're gone. You know, I'm here to give you a reading, healing, and poof, they're gone. And that's okay. Everybody doesn't need to be in our life all the time, no matter how badly we want them. You know, that boyfriend that we want so bad, or that girlfriend that we want so bad, or that visitor that we expected today, and just like, oh, well, you know, I can't have it my way, then, oh, well, you know, there's always Monday. Uh, no, baby boy, because you just really showed me what you think of me and what my worth is. 
And you know what? You're not worth my worst. So keep it pushing. I won't ever call you again. Ever. Ever. Not even on my birthday and Christmas. And if you watch my videos, you kind of sort of know what that means. <laughs> you know? Mm mm. I am so good. You have just it showed me exactly what I have taught you to treat me like. And I didn't do a good enough job, so let me do it one more again. Whew, be gone. And I'm serious. I, I won't ever talk to him again. Ever. You know, because if I really didn't teach you better how to treat me, then I'm a really bad teacher on that end, and I need to just let that go. I learned that lesson. It will never, ever happen again. Ever. <laughs> yeah. You know, because, hey, how's that saying go? One hand washes the other. You do for me, I do for you, right? And you're not here to do for me today? Wow. That tells me everything I need to know about you. You are so not worth your salt. That's okay. Mike is. So, hello, Mike. I'm waiting for my ride. I'll be home in, in uh, 10 minutes. And, and go have a nice time. Fosters, have a nice, you know, burger or something. Three or four hours of great chat, and then I'll see you again in another. Well, I usually see Mike about every two months, so you know it's always nice to have something to catch up on, you know, on this beautiful, glorious day. Look at that! Look at that! Can you believe how beautiful it is? I am so blessed. Look at that! You know. So, anywho, so I wanted to tell you, honey. You know, don't. Don't waste time feeling bad, oops, sorry, with yourself. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. If I had an agreement to come here this time with you and only talk to you or be with you for X amount of days, minutes, there's no such thing as time, so, you know, what I mean, for whatever that lesson is and keep it pushing, then we can just keep it pushing. You know, it's okay. It's okay. We don't have to stay in contact. We don't have to, oh, hey, yeah, so let's get together. No, that's a crop of shit. We can just keep it pushing. Okay, you know what, so-and-so? i see you when I see you. <laughs> you know? And that's okay. Bit, I'm not hating on him. I'm, I'm just talking to Tosh. You know, you should have. I can shoot on myself. <laughs> you can't shoot on me, but I can shoot on myself. You should have taught him better how to treat you. That, that's the end of that. It's my, it's my fault, my lesson, and I, I can vent right now and let it go by the time I get home. And watch Bugs Bunny or funny cat videos and, and, you know, have a nice lunch with Mike and keep it pushing. So, I understand the challenge in that for a lot of people, you know, especially especially the kids, you know, it's really hard for my kids to understand because, um, you know, they want, they want to be friends with people. And they want to have, you want to have friends in your life forever and you want to grow up and, you know, know what her kids' names are and his job situation is or just how they're doing. Excuse me. But sometimes that's just not what we chose to do. But we have skin now and we forgot that. You just genuinely forget stuff because we have skin, and then that cloud's part of the true identity of the spirit. You know, we just forget. We can't remember everything. If we could remember everything, ooh, imagine that. Now, don't get me wrong. I do remember portions of probably about five other lifetimes, but I don't remember everything. I think that would probably, I don't know, maybe... Sorry, I don't want to take pictures of people as I'm sitting here and they're walking in. Um, that would probably drive some people crazy, I would think. Or, you know, I, I don't think everybody's really crazy just, just because of the psychiatrists say that they are. They're not. They're just talking to other entities like I do. <laughs> you know, but anyway, honey, I really want you to be good to yourself and realize, realize, okay, let's just play the what if game. If it's challenging for you to accept what I had to say, uh, you know, but what if, what if that was all 
the, the only reason why that you two were put together, or you five were put together, you get a thousand were put together. What if that is the only reason for you to come here and you teach them how to heal themselves, or you give them a very in-depth, thorough reading about what they needed to know about whatever, their purpose for being, their grammar, their grammar, whatever, it doesn't matter. And you can let that cord go. You know, we don't always have to hang on. I think the human side of us is always wanting to hang on, hang on, hang on, be his friend. I don't need to be his friend because obviously he doesn't consider me much of a friend. You know, you can drive out here so I could do your, you know, virtual assistant work and check up on that. But you can't drive out here just to take me to lunch? Wow. I don't need friends like that. I don't want friends like that. Because I can't keep all the portion of the deal. I didn't get all that you know, paperwork done. Whatever. You know, whatever. You can still come out here to take me to lunch. I mean, it's not like it wasn't already in the schedule. It's not like it wasn't already in your budget time frame, yada, 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 you know, so anyway, um, and a great example that I want to give to you, my dear, is, oh gosh, one of the first true, true loves of my life, you know, and you move to another city, and you keep sending, you know, at that time, we loved sending cards to each other, so I would go out and find these really beautiful, elaborate, expensive cards, because that was our thing. You know, we like to kind of one-up each other on who sends the prettiest or most um, beautifully written card or whatever. <coughs> and then, poof, he just stops. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're thinking, well, what did I say? What did I do? What did I do? And then you just feel bad, right? Sometimes it's just time to let stuff go. Let people go. Let situations go. And the sooner you do that, I promise you, the sooner you're able to just let that go, you're going to feel like you took a 20-pound shit. You're just going to be like, oh, wow, that feels good. <laughs> Get that out, you know, really. Okay, come on, stop the beeping already. You're going up high, high up there, cleaning the, what is he doing? Cleaning the lights or something on his little <laughs> up and down thing over there. Um... And you, it's okay. It really is okay because you know what? It makes more room for others. Just makes more room for others. That's all. You know? That's all. Okay, next. You know, like I tell, you know, a lot of men in my life tend to take it wrong when I say, because um, I find that they can't, they're not there to, like, do anything but talk about themselves. And that's well and good. So make an appointment. I'm not going to sit here and let you just talk away my my time, as it were. You know, I have more, more important things to be doing than just sitting here listening to you complain about the same things over and over. Now, don't get me wrong, I do vent, but I tend not to vent about the same thing over and over and over for five hours. I just, that's just not me. I don't want to waste your time, and you're not going to waste my time making the same mistakes over and over and over. I love you enough to let you go. If that is the case, you know, because how, how am I loving myself, letting you do that to me? That's not, that's not loving myself at all, to let you do that to me. Every single Friday for five hours, talk about your parents, talk about the house that you don't have, talk about the husband that's not doing what you want, talk about the kids that's not doing what you want. I have other things to do with my time besides listen to that over and over and over, you know? Uh, so... I just accepted the fact that it was time for him to move on. It's time for me to move on. And even after, what, that was in 84 or so, and, you know, now he's back in my life again, and I, I still love him no less. And, you know, I'm, I found him on Facebook. Hi, how you doing? Whoop to whoop. And he's all fine. You're looking good. I see you're looking good. Da, 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 da. You married kids? No, you married kids? No. Okay, well, the, and that's it. He stopped writing. Okay, cool. That's all. I was just meant to be there for that split second in time. I could keep it pushing. Mr. Man, come on. You have a girl trying to make a video a break. <laughs> mm, I know. I should have just waited till I got home, huh? Anyway. What is he doing now? Oh, he went to the other side. Okay. Then we're going to stop. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
So I hope to really encourage you to just find peace within yourself and know, you know, that season, reason, time thing is true. You know, you, you could have just chose for that to happen. Let it go, honey. Go meet somebody else. You know, there's plenty of kids out there that need our adult supervision, our adult love, or, and there's plenty of adults out there that need children's supervision because let's face it, a lot of them, a lot, my kids anyway, they're way smarter than me in a lot of areas in life. They can't see what's coming around the corner. However, they can see what's coming spiritually. You know what I mean? So I listen to them. They listen to me. We get along great. We teach each other, you know? That's how it's supposed to be. And this physical life goes on splendidly, you know? So don't don't beat yourself up. Don't get mad at them for, you know, not speaking to you anymore. Maybe they just aren't supposed to, and you're not cho choosing to accept that, and it, you're there, so therefore you're just making it hard on yourself. I don't know in depth how how your situation is. We just had that small chat yesterday. So you could just choose to be good to yourself and keep it pushing. You know, go by yourself a nice little whatever makes you happy. You know, for me it's Jax. You remember that game, Jax? Anyway. <laughs> For you young ones that don't know what Jax is, it's J-A-X, just so you know. Isn't that cute? Love creative people. Um, yeah, and, and kids, you know, don't, don't beat yourself up because that girl doesn't want to be your friend or that boy doesn't like you or whatever. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe you're meant to be with somebody better than that. Really? And, you, and I have to look at it that way because nothing is, nothing is really bad. Let's not even go there. You know I made like 200 videos on that. Nothing is ever bad. You just have to change your perception of how it is. You chose it. This is the life I chose. I chose to be here right now under this beautiful sun with that thing over there making noise. I chose to sit here and say, Tasha, why didn't you cut so-and-so off sooner? Because you could have seen. There's always signs. You could have seen how he was treating you sooner and cut it off sooner and made more room in your life for a better man to come take you out to lunch or a woman, you know? <laughs> really, because spirit, spirit doesn't have any or an Audi, you know? It doesn't. So it's all good. You are the true blessing here. Remember that. You are the true blessing you know, because you sitting here wondering and stammering and stuttering and why and how and who and what and well, she never returned this and they never returned that, you know. Why? That's, that's not going to behoove you any good either. Love yourself. Keep it pushing. Okay, God, who's next? Oh, sorry. So that's what I was saying. So when I, you know, get um, the lesson through my thick skull... You know, and I tell a guy, okay, this lesson was fun. It's time to keep it pushing. Next. What? What do you mean? See, there you go, being over aggressive again or whatever. Yeah, but you know what? You can't handle it. I told you the truth. I, I don't get down like that. You know, it's not, it's not a dick thing with me. It's a friendship thing. It's a spirit thing. So when I'm kind to you and I listen to you or I do things that make you happy, that's out of kindness to you. It's not, it is not to be expected. However, it is expected that you treat me like a lady with some respect and you don't just call me when your thing is hard just because you like to hear my voice and you like to hear me talk. Well, I made about, you know, 3,000 videos. Go watch the videos. Just put it in a playlist. There you go. If you like my voice so much, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, okay, that's been the case a few times in my life, but you know what I mean. Uh, and I just have to cut it off. Okay, next. Okay, God, what's my next lesson? Let's just keep it pushing, you know? And thank God, because I keep it pushing, I have some really, really good men in my life. Like I told you in the last video, I have some really good men in my life. Thank God. I'm so happy, you know? And because of these new associations, I realize it's like a treat, actually. And, and that's, got, that's way better than any ice cream sundae or any piece of candy, or any anything, you know? Having a good man in your life that listens to you and replies, because a lot of you men don't reply. You go off having five or ten other conversations doing whatever you're doing, 
You don't say bye or nothing. A conversation, you say hello, you say goodbye. Just like Mama taught you to have decency, you say thank you, please, may I, you know? Common courtesy. And a lot of you don't have that, so I'm thanking God that I'm meeting men that do have that. Okay, need to go into a meeting, Tosh. You know, TTYL. Okay, TTYL. Smile face, whatever. You know, not just, hey, how's your day? Oh, my day's good, how's yours? Hello? Crickets. You just get the crickets. <laughs> as my as my dear heart little angel says, <clears throat> you know. So to those people, I don't say bye or anything anymore. I, you just learn to adapt, you know. You just learn to adapt and keep it pushing, you know. So we're, we're not going to dislike ourselves. We're not going to dislike them. We're going to take them at whatever that lesson was. And let it roll. Let it just roll. Let it roll right off your back. Because you know what? It's over. What are you going to do? Keep beating a dead horse? No. I hope not. That's a waste of time, too. You can't stop loving yourself to sit and think, why, 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 why did that? Well, did I say something? Well, he said this. Well, she said that. And maybe she just didn't like that red dress because I know she wanted it. And then you're just spinning your wheels for nothing. Keep it pushing, honey. Keep it pushing. Love you enough to realize that that lesson is over. For whatever reason, it's over. And if it's not over, it'll come back again. And it's up to you to decide. See, that's where free will comes in. Even though I know I planned everything, we still have free will, I believe, to say, okay, we're at the fork in the road. Am I going to go left or am I going to go right? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go right. You see, you had free will to go left or right. And when you get to that end of the fork of the road, you have free will to go left or right again. And just accept it. Whatever, if, if I go left, I'm going to love it. If I go right, I'm going to love it. That's all there is. I'm going to love it. Whatever it is, I'm going to love that lesson and keep it pushing. You see the palace that I live in. I love it. And I'm going to keep it pushing. Move to a bigger palace. There's grass. Cement. Level ground. <laughs> you know. And that's okay. That's okay. I love my lessons. I accept my lessons. I'm just rolling that along, you know. And it's, as you see, it's a beautiful, glorious day. I'm sitting out here under the shade part, of course, and just loving myself and appreciating myself for coming to get the girl squished today, get everything checked out, looking good. Everything is good. I'm still looking for a place for me and my big sister to go and be happy with me and my three big sisters. Oh, sorry, my big sister and two little sisters <laughs> to go and live and prosper and do our purpose for being, you know. So, I can't wait. And life is going to go on and life is going to be beautiful. And even for him, it's going to be beautiful later when he gets home and he gets to watch Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You know, and see now, see, that's how I know I really learned my lesson. I just, I could just, I could, because I could see myself in the shadow of my phone. And I just laugh at myself. Okay, Tosh, you learned. It's over. It's over. You know, and I don't have the desire to beat him up for not wanting to show up for our appointment. I don't have the desire to hate him. I don't have the desire to talk to him anymore. I just don't. I, I wish him lots of love and peace and joy and happiness with whatever he's doing at our appointment time or throughout his whole life. Sorry. That sounds petty of me. Sorry. Um, and I'll meet with Mike and we'll have a nice lunch and we'll have a nice day. Yada, yada, yada. And life goes on. Life is too short to sit here. Why, why, why? Why did that happen? Why did this happen? Why did I do that? Why did... Well, why didn't he call? Why didn't she, you know, want to have sex with me? Why didn't he, blah, 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 blah. That's just, just hot air, and you're just spinning your wheels. I love you. Time to let you go. See ya. May the force be with you. <laughs> you know? I wish you well, boo-boo. Time to go. Next. Okay, God. Ready for the next one. Ready for the next, ready for the next client, teacher, friend to come in my life, you know, and really, I got to tell you, it really, I have been cutting a lot of people 
loose. I have been, and <clears throat> I know it sounds very, very cliche to to say, but I really mean it. You know, I'm, all those people who just want to hate on, you know, white people, hate on black people, hate on Mexican people, hate on this, hate on that. I am unfriending all those people because you know what? Again, it comes back to the kids who don't who can't see around the corner yet. And when you kids grow up, you're going to know what I mean. When you're 53, we can discuss it. Till then, don't tell me I know everything. I'm grown. No, you're not. You're not grown. Okay? You're not. Don't even write to me about that. So when I see more and more people talking, you know, not nice, I won't even call it negative because it's not really negative to them. It's not really negative to me. It's just a waste of space, air, energy to sit here. Well, you know... Fat black women did da 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 and you need to become vegan, and you need to do this, and then you'll be healthy. No, that's not true, but I'll keep it pushing. Unfriend, block. <laughs> you know? What? Kids don't need to see that. We have enough reality in the world. They don't need to, of all the places to go see that, I don't need to see it in my social feeds. I don't. I realize it exists. You know it exists. You watch the news. I don't watch the news because I know it exists. You know, anything really important, Spirit will tell me, Hey, you need to, you know, go to uh, CNN.com or whatever, uh, NBC, B, DC, B, whatever the British thing is, and, you know, watch that. So I do subscribe to several news telling feeds, and when I need to read about something, they tell me, and then I go read about that, and I pray on it. That's all I do. I don't put it in any social sites, depending on what it is. <laughs> um... And even if I do, I'm only going to say, you know, let's pray for da 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 da, and that's it. I don't, I don't need any lectures. I don't need your fucked up opinion about what you think about President Obama or women's rights or what. It, I don't need that. You know, kids need to be educated. Yeah, they could get their education in other places than my wall, my Google Plus wall, my Facebook wall, or any of my social feeds. You know, reality is there. They can seek it, find it, understand it on their own. I don't need to put that shit in my space. I don't. You don't need to put that shit in my space. You won't. And if you do it twice, I, I can unfriend you, let you go. Because you know what? We can text, we can call, we can email other ways than putting your shit on my Facebook wall. That is not acceptable. Just like I get permission from people. May I put my jewelry once a week on your wall? Because, you know, I only have 2,000 friends, but you have 10,000 friends, you know, or whatever. Okay, Tasha, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can post to my wall. Okay, cool. But most men don't say that, thank God. Women say that. Isn't that amazing? The women say that. No, I only do, you know, let people post on my wall on Tuesdays. A day is a day. What do you care? Whatever, fine. I don't post because I forget, you know, and I'm not writing down post on so-and-so site on Tuesday. I'm, no, no, forget it. I'll post to the people who say, sure, whatever, just don't go overboard. Okay. And then generally, you know, once a week, I'll just do everybody's walls that give me permission. And then you don't go overboard and you're not being overbearing or greedy or, you know, whatever. And life goes on. It's all good. I get exposure to different people in your public space. You get different exposure when you put it on my wall, depending on what it is. <laughs> oh, is that him? No, that's not him. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, I want you to really consider just letting some things go. Letting people go. God, that's a nice truck. Look at that truck. It's not a lariat, but I'd take it. In a heartbeat. Sweet. I'm a truck girl. I'm not a car girl. Uh... So let's just love ourselves, people. Let's just have a woo moment. Come on. woo <laughs> And let all the anger and angst and, and all that other good stuff, let it go out. Come on, one more again. woo <laughs> You know? It's okay to let stuff go. You don't have to hang on to it. See, that's probably why you're not progressing in life. And even though I am where I am at my beautiful palace that I live in, not Lucy, but a different palace, it's okay. Right now, in this space, time continuum, yada, 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 <laughs> it's okay. Because I'm pushing it, honey. I'm keeping pushing to better, more, different, 
grass, <laughs> cement, walls, no bugs, you know, and, and it's okay. You got to be happy where you are before the universe gives you something else, you know, really. Let's not forget that. You have to appreciate and love what you have right now. Be grateful for what you have in the universe. Huh, okay? You see she said amen, right? You heard that. Be grateful for what you have so the universe can open up and release more unto you. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, God, that was enough perfume. Wow. Whew. Ladies, please, one spray right after the shower will do. Just, you don't need to smell yourself. We smell you. I mean, the perfume smelled good, but, wow, it slapped me in the face. Um, God, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I mean, just look at this day. If you don't have any sun where you are, here you go. You know, nice fluffy cloud. I don't even want to hear anything about no damn chemtrails. I know they exist. I know they, they're bad. Yeah, I don't want to hear that either. Let's just focus on something good for a, a minute, okay? It's a beautiful sunny day. Look at all that beautiful sun. Look at the beautiful trees. They're green. Lots of shades of green. Somebody needs to write a book about that. Fifty <laughs> shades of green. Happiness, prosperity, growth. You know, come on. Everything don't always have to be bad, bad, bad. bad. Negative, negative, negative. Well, in your, from your mouth to my ears. Because to me, it's all good. Even the dirt is good. Dogs love the dirt. The cats love the dirt. The animal, chickens love the dirt. It's all good. It's all good. So, what are you going to do good for and with yourself today? I think I'm going to go home and make me another beautiful ring. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. You make me some more rings. I'm really addicted to making rings now. And I'm addicted to Julie's tutorials. Oh, she just, she really explains things good. Well, excuse me, Mom. I could hear her in my head. She ain't even here. <laughs> but, you know, I find now the quicker you let stuff go, the quicker it's going to make room for other good, right? The quicker it's going to make room for you to accept that blessing. Oh, that's my next lesson. That's my next uh, not lesson topic. I know you, and I'm going to send this video to you, this video to you so you can hear me tell you. You know what? When you hold on to something, and you see that, where how can good get in there? Good can't get nowhere in there because you're clenching it so tight, right? So loosen up and let it go so you can accept your good. You can't accept nothing with a clenched fist. You know? You can't. Let it go, boo-boo. Accept your good. Stop saying no. I hate it. Sorry, I shouldn't say it like that. I dislike it a whole bunch. <laughs> when I tell people, let me send that to you. Now, you know I live way out in the country. You see all that land right there, right? I mean, like I said earlier, that's like probably 100 acres just right there. And then we have this, and then we have Kaiser, and we have one or two things, and then another 450 acres of land. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit challenging for me to get to the post office at times. However, I will. I always keep my word. <clears throat> so do not sit here and say, no. One person, I got to tell you, it almost hurt my feelings. One person I offered to give something to sent me an email. No, somebody else is more deserving of it. Unfriend, block, delete. I don't even want to know people like that. And I know he, he is a really good, 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 good person. And I understand he means well. However, I want to be with people that are where I strive to be. You know, people that own their own business, have, you know, family, a kid, the full spectrum of a quote-unquote good, happy, bliss-filled life that accept their blessings. You know, I don't know why you people do that to yourself. No, give it to somebody else because, you know, that just changed your whole vibration of everything else in your life set up to not receive your good. So you sit here saying, oh, I want that man. I want that woman. I want that car. I want that boat. I want that house. 
how the hell do you think the universe is going to give you that woman, man, car, boat, house, truck, piece of gum, hamburger, you know, tissue, if you can't accept the good that somebody is freely, freely giving you? How, how do you think that that's going to be possible? Let me tell you this about that, boo-boo. It's not. Because once you cut off one thing, that cuts the other enough so your ends are open, right? Once you cut this, you have two pieces now instead of one piece, right? These two used to meet. You cut off your good. So now that one's flailing around with stuff spewing, and this one's flailing around with stuff spewing. There goes all your goodness spewing out of you onto other things. It ain't watering the plants. It's just wasted energy, I think. Of course, it's my video, so only my opinion matters, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, wow, really? Okay, well, you know, that's fine. I'll give free jewelry, free readings, free whatever to everybody else then that's willing to accept it. And I know women especially, it's really challenging for you, a lot of you old-fashioned mothers, to accept your good. Get over it, honey. Get over it. And I'm not saying honey in a sarcastic way. Don't lie to me about that. You women that can't accept the honey or something are just, I don't get it. But I don't want to take time to get it. So I'll just keep it pushing so, and talk to the ones who don't mind me calling them honey. Yeah, I actually had somebody say, don't call me that. And I was trying to buy a big sale from her on Etsy. Don't call me that. And I'm like, wow, how unflexible are you? You know, I'm not trying to, like, have sex with you or something. I, all I said was, you know, have a good day, hun. Don't call me hun. I'll take my $150 sale elsewhere. Sorry I bothered you. Let's keep it pushing. Next. I mean, I don't take my bad day out on you. I, you know, it, it, it was just a, uh, typing. So I can, even if I'm in a bad mood, I can still type something nice. Okay, you too, Tosh. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, I did. I probably shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tasha, I could have went ahead and ignored that about her. But that see, that sets up, you know, other ethics in business. In business. Okay? Not personal. So, you know, if it was, um, if I were at her home and it was face-to-face, -face, you know, to me that would be a little bit different. But this is business. I'm just asking you, do you have this bead in 8 millimeter instead of 10 millimeter? And you're like, no, um, but I can try and get it. And, oh, by the way, don't call me hun. Okay. Now, I know text doesn't really have a tone, but I'm thinking, wow, I am never going to see you again after probably this $150 sale of all these beads and stuff that I wanted, and I'm helping you pay your mortgage. Hmm. Okay. I won't call you anything ever. See ya. And at that time, when was that? Did I? I don't know. But I, you know I'm not going to lie about it. I probably did say something nice when she wrote back to say, are you going to order this? No. I only do business with people that let me call them hun and realize I'm not trying to mean harm. It is just my personality. Like I see, it's not yours. So that's fine. I can, I can meet you right where you are and just let that go. Have a good day, whatever your name is. I don't even remember her name because, you know, people just send you the name of their shop. Well, I know the name of your shop isn't you, but anyway. I know. I could have had a that situation different. Oh, well. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> and life goes on, you know. So, I learned to stop cutting off my nose to spite my face. Well, in that case, I didn't, but in other cases, I have. So, that's the lesson I learned when to shut up <laughs> and when to just keep it pushing. Um, because, you know, in instances like this particular one that I'm talking about now, I don't do that in every instance, like if I'm buying a house from you and you say, don't call me hun, obviously I just have to eat it, <laughs> you know, keep it pushing. Uh, but, you know, I got those beads and stuff from somebody else that didn't mind me calling them hun, sweetie, gorgeous, whatever, you know, and uh, it's all good. So... When we have a business agreement, changing the subject now from the first part of this video, to a personal agreement, to me that's two, two separate things, even though I know in my spirit it's really not, and I should just shut up and just not say anything. 
like I do when I get mad. I just don't say anything for a long time. <laughs> hey, I'm learning, I'm learning. And then I come back with, hey, how you doing, da 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 later, after I tell myself, Tasha, you're just being a silly little girl, stop being pig-headed, and keep it pushing. Um, it was a beautiful day. <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly scolding myself. Okay, scolding over. Next. So, I really want you to all, and myself included when I say you all, um, to just stop right now. Love yourself. Look at the beautiful tree. We saw. Look at the beautiful clouds. Some cotton candy. Mmm. Strawberry cotton candy. You know? And just take a minute to breathe and be with yourself. Be still. For you that I gave that video to yesterday, be still. Let's just, you know what? Okay, this is your homework for today. Um, oh, jeez. Well, uh, for the one that thinks, that tries really, really hard, you know who you are. And I'm going to send you the link to the video. Let's just pretend that we're a little tiny, I don't know, butterfly, caterpillar, worm, whatever, in a tree. It's a beautiful day. You have all the water you need. The sprinklers, you know, just went off. And you have everything you need right there in that leaf of that tree to be happy. Let's just bask in the sun right now. Just bask in the sun. You just ate a whole leaf. You're full. You're warm. You, that leaf had a piece, a drop of water on it, so now you're not thirsty. You are just happy. You're not cold. You're not sad. You're not mad. You're, you got money in the bank. You, you're just, all the bills are paid. Kids are fed. They're downstairs playing hopscotch with the chalk you just bought. And just sit and be still. For the moment, let's just sit and be still. Let's see how still I can hold this while we're being still. Okay? Let's just sit, be still, take a few deep woo-saw breaths, and realize we have so much to be grateful for. Okay, see, let me play Oprah. Right now, close your eyes, close your eyes. Right now, if you had one thing to be grateful for, um trusting really hard, that's what I'll call you, or trying really hard, not trusting really hard, trying really hard, if you had just one thing to be grateful for right now, what would it be? Right now, I'm grateful for, right now, I'm grateful for that machine not going off and I could finish my video, <laughs> you know, for those of you who said, I don't know what to be grateful for, Tosh, really, really, you want to tell me that, because you know I'm going to get on you. And don't even put that crap in the comments. If you can't find something to be grateful for, something's wrong with you. Okay, so let me again pretend to be Oprah. Start with, oh, breath. Breathing in and out is a good thing. Beautiful day. Look at the pretty clouds. You're seeing a beautiful tree. A lot of people can't see. Be grateful for that. A lot of people can't hear. Be grateful for that. A lot of people don't live in a beautiful home with grass and cement. You be grateful for yours. You know? Be grateful that you can come here and watch my videos and make you laugh with my toothless self. <laughs> you know? Feel your spirit with that energy. Just look at that tree and get the energy off of that tree. You could do it. Through this video, you could do it. You know, you can. I know you can. You hear that little tiny breeze? You see the trees moving, so you know there's a breeze. Wrap yourself up in that breeze and, and just feel Okay, be grateful for what I, whatever memory that just triggered. So be grateful for that memory of the last time you just got held by somebody you really love deeply or, you know, your 
son or daughter or the neighbor's son and daughter or the dog or the cat or the whatever. And you just felt so good. Remember that right now. Okay? Remember that. Remember what that was like. And just hold on to that memory and go, mmm. Yeah. And for those of you who can't even do that, when was the last time you had a really good meal and it was made exactly how you like it? With just enough pepper, just enough salt, just enough seasoning, just the right temperature, just the right texture. Mmm. Yeah. Remember the company you had and you laughed. You remember when that day that you had that good meal with your company, or not company, you just overheard somebody else's conversation, and you had a nice, good, full belly laugh. Be grateful for that. A lot of people haven't laughed in a long time. You know, just be grateful for that. Okay? Be grateful that last night when you tried to go to sleep, you might not have been able to go to sleep, but you had something to lay down on, damn it. So just be grateful for that. You had a blanket. You had a sheet. You know, even if you're sleeping in your cars, don't be giving me all the time. I think in my car because I'm homeless. No, you got a car to sleep in? Cool. You got a cardboard box to sleep in? Cool. Lay down and be at peace right there. Be thankful for that cardboard. Be thankful for that blanket, sheet shoes, jacket, whatever. Be thankful. You know? Be thankful because you're not sitting laying on some, you know, uh, operating room table on your desk bed, as it were. Okay? So, you, you know, be grateful for that. There's so much to be grateful for. I'm grateful for every chicken that's out there that talks to me and listens to me and teaches me something. I'm grateful for the sheep next door. I'm grateful for the dogs, the two new little kitties, the two birds that stay outside. Mrs. Wilson, who's outside, and I know it was cold last night. Poor little Miss Wilson. You know? And for those of you who don't know who Miss Wilson is, she's the gray, the gray parrot, the gray, um, what is it called? The gray whatever bird that's outside in her cage now because we were painting the liver. You know? I'm so grateful for them. I'm grateful for all them fruit trees that I get to eat off of. I'm grateful for that big, huge... Oh, that's the other video i got to do, because you keep asking me how this garden is doing. Garden is lush. Huge, huge. I mean, these squash got to be like two feet long. Yeah. You know? Anyway, be grateful. I'm grateful for my lesson. I'm grateful right now for the lesson that this gentleman taught me on how I should teach myself. So now I remember to have, to teach others how to treat me better and be and consider my time more valuable. Consider my friendship. Even if we're not deep dark friends, my association needs to be treated with respect. So I thank the universe for that lesson. That will never happen again. I am grateful that it's not raining and I can come outside the clinic and wait for my, my ride and, you know, go home and eat some more Teresa's good spaghetti, you know. I'm grateful that I have some place to go to, even if it doesn't have grass and cement. Yet. 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 You heard me say yet, right? Yet. My new place will have tons of grass, tons of cement. I'm looking. It hasn't it hasn't shown up yet. It will. It's on its way. Excuse me. What are you grateful for? I'm grateful to all of you that watch my videos and leave funny comments. Do not leave comments. I can't hear this. If you can't hear it, that's fine. Other people can. Maybe this lesson wasn't meant for you. You know? What time is it? Maybe it wasn't meant. That's why you have lots of people in your life, lots of teachers. We all are only here to teach each other about ourselves. And he just taught me a great lesson. I'm not harping on it. I don't have 
any animosity towards that situation or him. I love him. I, I, I love me some him. I really do. You know? So beautiful. Wow. I wish I could just really sit here all day, eat, watch the people come in, frowning, leave smiling. You know, I was like, oh, I don't like the hospital. Well, you know what? There's a lot of beauty to hospitals, too. I mean, where do you go to get that care? Some of us. Some of us. Okay? I used to love going to the bar. I'm not a drinker, but I used to love going to the bar. Me and Miss Grace, we'd have our Coke. She'd have her Diet Pepsi. And slow down. It's a sharp curve. Hello. Pay attention. Um, and we would just sit and chat and, you know, have our whatever we ate, peanuts and watch people smile and dance and do karaoke and just have a good time smiling. You know how nice it is just to see somebody smile? That's why I give away a lot of things. I do. I tr I, every time I, you buy something, I give you at least two or three things in your package. Why not? I want to see you smile. I would also like it if you went to TashaSuch.com and left a nice comment on one of my blogs or TheAngels.us and left a nice comment at the bottom of the page saying, Hey, Tasha, I really love your jewelry and that free clear quartz that you gave me. You know, because other people like to know and my, other people like to be happy for your happiness. So come on, don't be greedy. Don't keep it all to yourself. <laughs> or even my Tasha Such Healing Jewelry fan page. Hey, Tosh, I got my package today. Thanks for my freebies. My sister says, don't call it freebies. That sounds cheap. I said, these crystals ain't cheap, and these people know it. She says, we'll call it thank you gifts or something, gratitude gifts. Oh, okay. You're welcome for your gratitude gifts. <laughs> Another video. <laughs> you are welcome for your gratitude gifts, you know. Anyway, um... Because you know what? And it really sucks, but every business needs testimonials. Every business does, because other people who aren't as warm and loving, cuddly, lovely as you need to know Tosh does okay. Tosh does okay. You know, and even to the gentleman, he said something I made broke today. Well, it was two months ago that you bought it. How did it break? Why did it break? You know, and I need to know those things, too, privately. Thank you for sending a private message. PM, people, that's what it stands for. <laughs> you know, or if it, I don't know, turned rusty. I need to know so I can stop buying those products from the people that have damages like that. But if you were trying to put it on and it fell and the bead broke, that's not my fault. So, you know, you can send the beads back. I'll remake the bracelet and only charge you shipping, okay, or something. Good to keep customers happy, and I do try my hardest. And I am grateful for my customers. I got to tell you, I got some really beautiful customers. I have some such beautiful customers that write to me and put take pictures and put it on Facebook. See, this is what Tasha made me. Thank you for that. I'm grateful for you. Because let's face it, I also have 200 other customers who don't even say, I got it. If it weren't for the shipping notice that I put in the shipping thing for me to get notification of where the package is, I never would know that they even got it. Well, I mean, it's not, you don't have to tell me, but it's nice to know <laughs> you got it, you like your stuff, or you got it, you didn't like your stuff because you thought that amethyst was going to be darker. No, that's $25 a strand amethyst. The amethyst that I have was only cost $10. <laughs> it is not dark purple black. You know what I mean? But anyway, it's good to be educated on these things. Just like it's good to be grateful. It's good to let down our guard and trust and retrust and retrust and retrust and just keep trying. Because what good is not trusting? Not trusting things in life and people and situations only makes it harder for yourself. It only made it harder for me when I, you know, was in a situation and I decided I'm not going to see men in the same light for a while. <laughs> no, I went and got therapy. I got over it. Yeah, because it's not your fault that he was like that. 
It's not my fault. She was like that. So you could love me. You don't have to love her right now. But you can love me through it. I'll love you through it. You know? And it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to shut up now and just sit here and wait for my ride on this beautiful day. Move over to the sun. Get some sun. And you guys just go have a beautiful, beautiful day. I love you. Go be good to yourself. And I'll see you online. Okay. (laughs) Bye, guys.